Hello guys, how are you today? I hope you'll be fine today. If you are new on this channel, I am Abdullah Ahwan from Indonesia, and usually I make tutorial videos such as Android development, Flutter, and much more. So if you like my works, please consider to subscribe me. Thank you. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to share a little bit tip for you. As I mentioned last month, I want to show what kind of apps that I use to produce learning and help my development process. And I think now it's time. One of the apps that I use is Figma. Figma is a cloud-based design and prototyping tool for digital projects. It's made so that users can collaborate on projects and work pretty much anywhere. While this tool looks a lot like other prototyping option, the key differentiator is the ability to work with teams on project. Figma helps team create testing, see better design from start to finish. Pack it with design feature you already love plus unique invention like the Arc tool, Factor Network, Figma help you to keep the ideas flowing. No need to stop to install, save, or export. It's what any good cloud software should be. And just for your information, I use Figma for about 3 or 4 months ago. So far, I am satisfied with this software. Figma is free, but Figma has 3 plans option, starter, professional, and organization. Starter plans offer 3 projects, 30 days version history, up to 2 editors, unlimited cloud storage, unlimited free viewers. Professional plans offer unlimited project, unlimited version history, custom file or user permission, invite only private projects, and shareable team libraries. And the last, organization plans offer organization-wide design system, centralized teams, private plugin, plugin administration, share phone, SSO plus advanced security, design system analytics. If we are students or educators, we can get a free professional plan in Figma. Certain, we can get a professional features. To get this plan, firstly, we need to go to figma.com slash education and as we can see we need to verify our student status just click on that After that, we need to fill some information in this form. If we have finished, just click Submit. After that, as we can see, we are processing your application. Figma will email to us if we are verified. Just waiting, and boom, we got an email, hooray! Our Figma education application has been approved. And the next step is we need to verify our email by clicking confirm email button. Just log into our account. And as we can see, you are a verified education users. So now we can get free access to Figma professional plan. So we can get unlimited project, unlimited version history, custom file or user permission, invite only, private project, and shareable theme libraries. Okay, I think that's enough my video today. If you have any questions or comment, write it down on the comment field. Thank you so much and see you again on the next video.